Fortnite squad. What's happening boys and welcome to this segment right here on your boy your sheriff you guys we're gonna take two birds with one stone today okay we're gonna talk about a scammer in the community as doing a solo unlimited money glitch and we're gonna document a real working money glitch okay so we're gonna talk about both of them and we're gonna show the one that doesn't work and we're gonna talk about the one that works all right so slap a like on the video if you like to hang with us, always drop me a comment. Your boy loves to sit sometimes when it's quiet down. And he reads all the comments, replies back to you guys. Um, I love it, basically. So I, I love to see those comments, okay? I want to give a big shout out to my friends that were hanging with me during this week, doing the slasher at night. Man, we had a ton of fun. Thank you for hanging with me. You guys are the 2019 crew, basically. Uh, like we said before, people come and go. But I love it that you guys are with me and you're making this game so much fun. Thank you, guys. Okay, boys. We are going to talk about a solo unlimited money glitch that got a ton of views when it comes to YouTube. This video got 61,000 views plus, man. Okay, so this is unbelievable. It actually gets more views than legit glitches. Okay, this solo unlimited money glitch is titled Real the youtuber has no shame right here real gta 5 online atm money glitch xbox playstation and pc something that we rarely see by the way when somebody tells you the glitch is working across the board you gotta question it right away it's something that doesn't happen all the time then the title goes on to say you're gonna make 2.5 million in seconds gta 5 money glitch just to let you know the way the glitch is even documented you're not gonna make the 2.5 million in seconds because it's a 10 minute video and it started off in the beginning in a very very weird way okay this is like a new this is gonna impress you this dude has spent some time okay now we're talking about none other than sam karam okay sam karam is one of the channels that only post fake money glitches okay they only post fake money glitches on their account all right you guys so make sure you're cautious on that this money glitch somehow seems appealing okay parts of it anyway he starts off in the beginning by telling you you know what spawn into a solo invite only session once you're in there get out of the apartment garage wherever you spawn and let's go to a specific store on the map I'm not sure what got him to think that but this specific store is the one that you gotta go to i think he went to the store because it's the closest to his apartment so that's why we ended up there no reasons were given behind it you just go to this store and he tells you don't pull your gun okay you don't want the cops on you here you need to go inside the back and then there is a different turn inside that you're gonna take and look lo and behold there is a safe back here so any you know any sane person at this point will be thinking to themselves uh oh this glitch is gonna involve the safe why is he calling it an atm glitch but this part i think he put it in the glitch because he wanted to make it into a 10 minute video so he tells you pull out a gun doesn't specify which gun he just pulls out a gun tells you empty a clip inside the upper circle of the safe you go ahead and you empty a clip it's a little bit retarded but that's what his brain came up with now you can empty a second clip into the second circle of the safe it's kind of weird because the second you pull out your gun in the store you get the cops on you when he told you not to pull the gun inside on the on the store owner so it's kind of weird i mean you are gonna pull the gun regardless why did you say in the beginning don't pull the gun so i guess they just like to say something different just to get people engaged in the glitch and they think that maybe they did something wrong from here what you are gonna do is you're gonna run out you're gonna get into your car you're gonna try to lose the cops now from this point he doesn't really tell you which atm to go to he tells you if you call lester chances are you're gonna be beside this atm right here okay now the glitch starts in a completely different fashion okay 
he goes up to the ATM, tells you deposit all the money that you have into the ATM. From there, withdraw $2,500. Okay, $2,500. Deposit that again. All right, now withdraw $2,500. And then you are going to go out of the ATM. And that means you've done four transactions so far, right? After you have the $2,500 in your hand, what you're going to do is very simple. You're going to back out. But before you back out, you're going to go toward the address bar. Okay, the address bar on top. This is kind of a new step that this guy has thought about it for a while. And he actually tries to give you guys something to do here. He tells you most of the pages have been expired except the one that tells you go to your transaction log, right? To see what's happening. Right there on that one, when you set deposit 2500 we're going to change the number to credit to million point five. Okay, so you're going to put two million point five credit and then change. He says that and this guy is such a scammer. He really sells it. I can only imagine the people trying this and actually thinking to themselves that they're going to get the money on something like that. From there, once you put that, you're going to click enter. You're going to get the error message. You click back on your controller as fast as possible. And from there, you're going to go ahead and kill yourself super fast. This is the part that tells you you, you might mess up just to get doubt in your head. From there, you're going to respawn, of course. You're going to go to online, creator mode, and you're going to go into another invite-only session. Now, he displays a message that tells you, congratulations, you've been awarded 2 million point five for participating in GTA 5 online promotion. Okay, so this idiot forgot to edit the screen. He took something that Rockstar has done a couple of months back for pro participating in a promotion and he tried to take that screen and put it toward your bank account. This is because of people that were playing GTA 5. Rockstar had a promotion back then and it might also have to do with people buying shark cards. Let me know in the comment section if you've gotten that much amount on your promotion. I think I got a million point five. And then again, these black screens are very easy to edit and you can manipulate the numbers. It's very easy. And from there, he tells you this is a real glitch. I'm going to prove it to you. Look at my bank account, this and that. Complete scam, boys and girls. Complete scam. Okay, so keep that in mind. What did I do? I reported him right away. I reported him for having spam content. I also reported him for having websites that are linked in the description that's illegal against the YouTube policy. A big no-no. Okay, so that's one loser in the community. You guys need to look in the description for the link to that video. Do your part and let YouTube take care of him. Put him down before he gets too big and scams more people. Definitely a big scammer in the community. And you can see it from the comments. People are calling him Sam, um, Sam, not Karam, Sam Scammer or something like that. It's just the negatives are all over his comments. If YouTube does investigate, they'll see the negativity. They'll understand that this guy is a scamming. Okay, let's leave this fig glitch and talk about the only active gta 5 money glitch right now now notice i said talk right a couple of weeks ago or a couple of days ago i documented to you guys that rockstar has changed their policy when it comes to glitching right so your boy is very cautious with glitching right now i don't really do much when it comes to that duplicating vehicles is something that they're keeping their eyes on and they're keeping their eyes on your bank account how it increases so if you're not active, if you're low level and you're hammering these duplication glitches, just be careful, okay? Mind the gap. Now that we said that, what is the solo unlimited money glitch that's active right now? I'm going to tell you from the beginning because most YouTubers are documented tell you this is super easy, you're going to make super money, this and that. But then as you get into the video, you realize that they tell you there is timing involved. So there is timing involved in this one right here. It's the unlimited money glitch, but you got to go through a setup that is very difficult to do. What you have to do is very simple. You got to be patient. You got to change your aim 
you have to be on the free aim lobby you gotta change your controller setup to standard in first person or third person but it's easier to do in first because like i said it's a difficult glitch you have to be a little bit more comfortable with the controls from there you're gonna go into an invite only session all right you're gonna go toward your eclipse tower that you need to have a penthouse in it so you can change the inside this glitch has to do with you having the interaction menu open so you can switch colors or style inside the apartment and running toward the heist board getting the right analog not the right analog the right d-pad clicked at the proper time in order for the game to glitch out so it's a timing thing that's very difficult put on top of that if you manage to hit it there is also the game accepting the glitch meaning there is a screen that you're looking for you need a screen that does not show your mini map and for you to get that it might not happen the youtuber that was documenting it did not really show it right away must have done multiple tries and then after that as he was doing it he said it might not even work in the same session so you, after you do the whole setup you gotta go to your moc take a car out set it up there glitch yourself on a job all the way beside the penthouse then at the penthouse you're gonna go ahead and do this running thing and you're gonna be looking for that screen that makes your map disappear if it doesn't happen you gotta go find another session and do it all over again okay so that's the solo unlimited money glitch that's active right now i'll have the steps linked up in the comment section uh, be careful what you do with your account you don't want to lose it i'll let you guys go if you do appreciate the you know the setups for these glitches do drop a like and do your part in the community let the cheaters know we're active i'll see you guys on the next one peace baby Yo, how's it going guys? My name is Rafa and welcome back to another video here on the channel. So of course today we have an insane solo money glitch for you guys. With this glitch you guys will become billionaires in GTA 5 Online. I'm telling you guys now, this glitch is insane. And make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like on the video right now for this insane solo money glitch I'm showing you guys today. And if you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and turn on post notifications as I post insane money glitches just like this one every single day. So yeah, make sure you guys hit the bell so you guys don't miss out. And yeah, also guys, just quickly, before we get into a glitch, huge shout out to everyone that you guys do see on screen right now, that you comment hashtag Rolf Nation in the previous video. If you guys want a shout out to take all these amazing people on screen right now, all you're gonna want to do is to start off, make your video to any public session. So you guys wanna make sure that you guys are in a public session just like me, and now, once you guys are in a public session just like me, all you're gonna want to do is just make your way over to any apartment you guys do own. After you guys make your way over to any apartment, you're gonna sit down at the sofa, and you guys actually want to go to start watching TV. So I'm, I'm gonna sit down right now, and once you guys sit down, press right on the D-pad to watch TV, and turn the TV on. So now you guys want to keep on like switching the channels, until you guys do get the Weasel News channel, and the Weasel News channel is like actually a channel where you can spectate people. So once you guys get to a spectating channel, just like me, it's gonna wait until you guys do load into it real quick, as you can see we're loading into it, but now. Once you guys are going to load into a channel where you guys can actually spectate people, all you're going to do is just press options, go all the way down to online, and go ahead and hover over find new session. Then you're going to click on find new session, and you guys want to stay on this alert. So stay on this alert, and once you guys are on this alert, go ahead and go down to your network settings, and disconnect from the internet. Then you're going to connect back to the internet, and now you guys will want to go back to GTA 5, so you guys will get this alert. So access this alert, and now you guys will load in the story mode. After you guys load in the story mode, press options, go all the way down to online, and start up an emote only session. Once you guys go and load into an emote only session, go ahead and grab any street car and make your way over to any Ellis costume shop on the map. After you guys are out of any Los Angeles costume shop on the map, go ahead and repair your vehicle if you guys do need to, but from here, go down the plates and change the color on the plate to anything, and from here go all the way up to Lost Death Prevention and go ahead and put a tracker on the car. So after you guys uh, change the color of the plate and put a tracker on the car, back up from all sales customs and go ahead and make your way over to any garage you guys do own. After you guys make your way over to any garage you guys do own, from here go ahead and go to a blue circle and here's what you're going to do. You're going to have to go ahead and switch the street car you guys just drove in with any other car you guys have in the garage uh, like around 10 times, make sure you guys do it real quick. So keep switching the streetcar with any car in the garage really fast, just like me, as you can see you guys are doing like me, do it like 5-10 times, just like I did, 
and after you guys switch the street car many times very fast just like me got a back out from like a blue circle menu gonna get in the street car and drive it out now once you guys are outside go ahead and make your way over to any gang attack on the map so you're gonna want to make your way over to any gang attack on the map and once you guys are gonna arrive at any gang attack here's what you're gonna do you guys want to kill every gang member except for the last one so in my gang attack i actually have 25 uh, gang members it's actually like a lot because usually in gang attacks there's only 15 but yeah go ahead and kill every gang member except for the last one so right now what i'm gonna go ahead and do is i'm gonna kill 24 out of 25 gang members and after i'm actually done killing 24 out of 25 gang members i'm gonna go ahead and come back to you guys so yeah i'm gonna go through when i only have one gang member alive so as you can see i only have one gang member left so once you guys only have one gang member left, all you're gonna want to do is just run over to him and actually gonna let him shoot you or kill you, just like that. So as you guys actually gonna die to the last gang member, all you're gonna want to do is now from here, go all the way over to him and actually gonna shoot him. Now as soon as you guys do see the screen, that'll say gang attack passed, from here, gonna close GTA 5 immediately and gonna start it up again. So now you guys reload in the story mode, so gonna wait until you guys do load in the story mode and guys, the timing on the last part is very important, so make sure you guys hit the timing exactly like me. If you guys didn't, this glitch will not work, but yeah, the timing should be pretty easy, so I'm pretty sure most of you guys will actually hit the glitch. But yeah, this is actually gonna wait until you guys do load in the story mode, and once you guys load in, press all the options, go all the way down to online, and stop an invite only session, and now you guys are on the glitch, it was literally that easy, this glitch was so simple, and you guys will make millions. So let me just show you guys proof that this glitch does actually work, and I'll be showing you guys that you actually the money and all that. So yeah, let's gonna wait until you guys do load into a session, and while you guys are loading in, you guys will get an alert that'll say you guys were awarded millions of dollars. Boom, as you can see, I just got an alert that'll say I was awarded 2.5 million dollars in GTA 5 for mine. This glitch is insane, took me like about 5 minutes to do, so yeah, it's an insane solo money glitch, and it will allow you guys to make up to 2.5 million dollars. Trouble. Hmm. Okay. I'll deal with it. 